Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are exploring the world of Joomla 5 and I'll be showing you how to manage banners effectively in Joomla 5. To manage your banners in Joomla, you should know how to. There are four simple steps to managing Joomla banners. 1. Create a banner category. The first step is to create banner categories. Log into your website administrator, navigate to the components tab, and then banners categories. Click on the new button. Title, enter the title of the new banner category. Category, enter a description of the new banner category. Click on the Save and Close button to create your banner category. Second, to create your Banners Client, go to the Components tab and then Banners Clients. Click on the Add Your First Client button. Edit the following fields. Name, enter the name of your client. Enter the contact name. Enter the contact email. Select purchase time. Set track impression yes. Set track clicks yes. Enter additional information, but it is not required so you can just leave it empty. 3. Create banners in Joomla Fine. Click on the Add Your First Banner button. Fill in the following fields. Name, enter a name for your new banner. Select the type image or custom. If you choose custom then you can enter your code of ads. And if you will choose image then. Browse image. Enter the width and height. Enter the alt text. Enter the click URL. Enter the description. Enter the number of impression. So it will be the set the maximum limit of impression. Choose your client. Choose your purchase time. Choose track impression. And track clicks. Select start publishing date and time. Select Finish Publishing Date and Time. Enter Keyword here. Create Banner Module. Click on New button. Search Banner Module. Enter the title of module. Select Target. Enter Count Number. Select Client. Select Category.
Enter the header text. Enter the footer text. Save and close it. Four tracks the banners. So you can check the details here. Name, client name, type of banner, count, date and time. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Joomla tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you next time.